Greetings, welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the A-Fall Champ, the adult fan of LEGO Champion, here with a LEGO review. This is a set that I won out of a Facebook group uh, about a month ago, and I finally got around to building. It is the Safari, the Safari Off-Roader set 60267, and let's go ahead and take a look at it. So uh, if we look at the build here... Got the spare parts right there. That's a nice easy thing just to get out of the way. Some pretty, actually some pretty useful parts there. But uh, get that over with. So uh, it comes with this uh, lioness. Kind of looks like a cougar. Uh, but if it's a safari, then it's going to be a lioness. Uh, I think this is the only set you can get these in. I could be wrong on that. Uh, I certainly don't have one uh, other than this one. And I did not expect there to be multiple points of articulation. I did not expect you to be able to move the whole body or move the, the head. So that was, a, that was a pleasant pleasant surprise. For the minifigs, uh, this is probably the more famous of the two, the guy in the, the tree costume. Actually, it comes with a pretty nice looking bird there, parrot there as well. Uh, the guy does have an alternate face. He's got the serious face and scared face and then if you don't want to have the tree costume on them there there's also the brown hair piece that it comes with uh the woman also uh that's those are two the torso and the legs are both things i've never never seen or dealt with before outside of just this set it's just a little bit of let me get it in the light there correctly just a little bit of print there on the back uh if you look at the back of her head, she also has a alternate face there. Uh, dual molding on that hat and uh, ponytail combination. Also, if I can get it to go back on right there. All right, and then if we get to the main build itself, uh, all of the zebra print on here that you'll see is all stickers. That's probably one of the main downfalls of the set. If you look from the top down, uh, it's mostly six wide, although the wheels technically, uh, and like the wheels and uh, this piece here, the antenna. Uh, so maybe I should actually just outright call it an eight, eight wide set. Oh, the cat's gonna kind of join us here. Put her on the floor. All right, sorry about that. Uh, the roof comes off relatively and easily in one big piece there. If you can look down inside it. Uh, you can get um, easily fit a minifigure in the front to drive, uh, and you can easily fit one in the back. I think you might be able to fit two uh, of the like child-sized minifigs standing in there. I should, probably should have tested that out before I before I did this, and then you can sit a minifig up top as well. Um, they have the bigger tires, which makes more make again makes sense for uh, the fact that it's a safari vehicle. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good build. It's it's heavier than I anticipated it being. This is um, I don't I don't know what I was expecting, but it's definitely heavier than I anticipated that I thought it would be. Uh, so in terms of positives and negatives, I mean I really like this set. Um, just to hit the negatives um, real quick, I would say the reliance on stickers would be a negative. Particularly like I don't understand why these two by threes. There's four of them. You know, they're all the, the all are the same. That couldn't have been printed, or maybe this one by four uh, could have been printed instead of a, and or yeah, printed instead of a sticker. I understand like you're only gonna you need one of these and one of these, and even just the ones on the back, just one of those. Although you could have just used more, you know, you could have done six of these. But uh, I mean, printed is always better than than stickers. So there's that. Ooh. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's really the only real big negative uh, that I can... I mean, I guess you could say that this is kind of a ridiculous ridiculous costume. There's no doors. Uh, they don't open, I should say. There's no not an openable door. But the negatives are really pretty, pretty minor in terms of positives. I mean, there's lots of positives. It, it's a city set that finally isn't... You know, I shouldn't say finally isn't, like there's no other ones, but there's so many, you know, fire and police uh, sets and this is one that's not so that's that's nice to get a great vehicle that isn't you know a cop car or a um, fire truck of some kind 
Uh, it's just a different theme, you know, that uh, within a s different sub theme that you don't get too frequently. This is obviously pretty awesome to get one of these. The bird was pretty good. I like both minifigures. Um, again, I just, I really think it's a pretty solid, solid set. It, I, I like the detachable roof. Uh, it just, I don't, I mean, there's just, there's not any, there, there's no weakness really here to me. There's nothing that I, I look at this set and say that it's bad. I like that it comes with the extra hair, so they don't ha he, the figure doesn't have to wear this. Again, the bird is actually a sack. There's two animals that it comes with. Um, I don't know that it's a negative necessarily, but I do find it odd that, like, where, where are we supposed to be driving this? Like, it's part of the Lego City set, and I get that there used to be, like, a jungle sub theme. This is a safari, and I don't, I don't know where, the, allegedly, where this is going to be driven. But, again, that, that has nothing to do with whether or not this is a, a good or bad set. Um, it's 168 pieces. I know it retails for about $20. I did not pay for it. It was free to me because I won this set. Um, so that price to part ratio isn't great. However, you have to remember that animals, particularly like medium-sized ones like this with multiple parts of articulation, drive the cost up on that. Plus, you have a dual-molded uh, bird. Plus, again... Uh, plus, you've got two minifigures, and uh, I feel like tires are, are a little more expensive than normal. So, again, as a whole, like, yeah, you'd, you'd like it to get a few more pieces, but the pieces you do get are pretty good. Um, yeah, in terms of the pieces included here, I looking at some other reviews before I did this one, there were a lot of people pointing out that these black candlesticks are new. That's fine with me, I guess. I don't... Uh, but I like... Uh, the, the fenders. I like the use of this and this piece and that piece. I, and this might be a new windshield. So there's lots of uh, good piece usage. Uh, you could just leave the stickers off and it would be a, just a fine white SUV if you want so, uh, something like that. If you don't want the ridiculousness of an animal print uh, animal print car. I actually, I, I would be more than happy to get extra to get extra of the animal print things and make mocks out of them. So I think that those are great to get. Uh, but as a whole, in terms of a grade, I'm, I'm going to give it an A. Again, it's not perfect. I'm not going to tell you that it's perfect. But man, I, I really like it. And again, there's no weak spot. There's nothing, nothing like there's things I would do slightly differently if I in a perfect world, but there, there's no real weak spot. So I'm clearly giving this an A. So you can uh, leave me a comment, tell me if you agree or disagree or why or what you think of uh, you know my build or my sticker placement there. Even the stickers, again, those are ones that are relatively easy to place. But um, yeah, so anyway, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully I hear from you again soon. And hopefully you hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.